Alright, so we've had a good bit of new reveals lately, so I figured I would cover a bunch of them in a video. Got some Studio Series, Legacy Evolution, Shattered Glass, etc. So we're going to start off with Studio Series here. We got a reveal of the Rise of the Beast Deluxe Mirage. This was right after the Super Bowl trailer, which heavily featured him. And just go ahead and point out the obvious here. This is pretty clearly based on earlier sort of concept design for this guy. Of course, if it was a, maybe a bit better painted, you'd be able to see some of the stuff that's still there on the final film design. He's a bit chunkier than he should be, so there's that. I don't think it looks bad. It's not the best figure of that Mirage design, but you know, I don't think it looks bad. The car mode looks really good. The robot mode, again, chunkier than it should be in inaccuracies aside. Doesn't look bad for what it is. Maybe not the best representation of this guy. And you know, it just kind of furthers a thing that I've thought about of just, I kind of wish Studio Series would have waited. I understand you want to put stuff out when the movie's still happening, capitalize on the hype, but sure would have helped out to be able to look at stuff after the fact, get the more final designs and everything. But yeah, I don't think this guy necessarily looks bad. And that's it for at least the live action side of Studio Series. With uh, Studio Series 86, we got reveals for Core Class Ironhide and Leader Class Snarl. Start with Ironhide, don't care. Just not interested in it. I'm surprised it doesn't come with his head blown off. Doesn't look bad for what it is, just not interested. Then there's Snarl. I am interested in him. Now let me get one thing out of the way. That Stegosaurus form does look good. Goofy, very goofy, but it also looks like the cartoon. And you know, I do love my accuracy. What can I say? I don't think it looks bad and do intend to complete the leader Dinobots they've been doing in 86. At this point now, all we got is swoop. I do think it looks good. Again, while the Stegosaurus form is goofy, I still dig it. And then the robot mode honestly looks really good. There's not much that immediately comes off. It's like, that doesn't look good. So yeah, I like him. Then moving on to evolution, we got more Dinobots with the reveal of the core class Swoop and Scar. So it turns out the rumors were true about it being Scar, which is pretty cool. He looks okay. Like pretty much the other ones, he's chunky. In a weird way, I kind of dig the awkward chunk in the robot mode. It doesn't look great, but I don't know. There's something about it where just like, I don't know, in my head, I'm like, he must think he's so badass, even though he looks slightly ridiculous. <laughs> and then the, uh, is it Ankylosaur? That form, not the best either, but I don't think it's horrible. Just doesn't look super great. I'm not going in on this set, so this, and honestly swoop two are a pass but getting to swoop i honestly think he looks the best out of the core class dinobots we've seen so far looking at the robot mode there's not really anything to complain about he looks pretty clean looks good looks fairly poseable for what he is nicely detailed i don't have a complaint for the robot mode and then the pterodactyl form you know you obviously have the legs kind of just folded up back there but like swoop or at least a g1 version has always had kind of a odd looking and almost sort of boxy pterodactyl form to me at least so i don't really mind this still not the best it does seem like the dinosaur forms suffer a lot but again i don't necessarily mind too much even if they don't look great just because they're going for the whole combiner thing but i think he looks pretty good all things considered especially that robot mode i definitely think he'll be easily the best of the bunch and i'll be very interested to see what people think about him then last but not least there is the shattered glass grimlock which i really dig the look of the colors are cool and the whole g1 Tripticon colors on Grimlock. I think that looks great. The 86 liter mold of Grimlock is very good. Kind of a surprise figure for me. I didn't really expect to like it as much as I did. So I'll probably get this. I kind of hate there are some Shattered Glass figures I didn't jump on. Like I really wish I would have gotten Jet Fire. I hate that I didn't go for that two pack of Optimus and Ratchet and Selects. Not sure what else I would have really wanted because right now I only have Megatron, Starscream, and Ultra Magnus. But I think I'll definitely get this guy. He looks good. Just wait to see the pre-orders for him because I don't believe they are out there at the moment. I know this was pretty quick and everything but I figured I'd talk about these. Some cool stuff. Definitely going to get the Shattered Glass Grimlock and Studio Series Rise of the Beast Mirage. Definitely getting 86 Snarl but all the core class stuff I have no interest in so that's at least half of the figures. But hey, what do you guys think about these figures? Which ones are you going to get? What are you not going to go for? What do you think looks coolest here? Do you think Studio Series should have waited to do characters like Mirage or really just everybody from Rise of the Beast? As always, I want to give a big thanks to everyone for watching and have a good one.